Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday! Today is Friday and we're going to talk about some frugal things, but before we get into the three frugal wins that I have for this week and the one frugal fail that I have for this week, I'm going to share with you guys a little bit of my afternoon. This afternoon, um, today I have been at home with Elias and I will explain why in the next clip here, but just thought I would give you guys a little bit of a look behind kind of what we do. He also has on a super cute outfit today that I want to show you guys. I got it from Target, which I talk about that too. And that's it. So let's talk about all the baby stuff and then we'll get into the money stuff. I'm a wife and mama who believes we can all live the life we love regardless of the size of our budget. Join me each week as I share my life as a working mom, a wife, and a semi-reformed shopaholic who, along with my husband, is on the road to financial freedom. I'm Karina, and this is One Budgeting Wifey. Can you say hi, Elias? Can you say hi? Is that sister? Or sister? <laughs> hi, friends. I just wanted to show you guys Elias' outfit. Um, he looks so stinking cute. <laughs> oh, is that sister? He is so entertained by Kiki. It's not even funny. But he looks super cute today. He has on these teeny tiny little shoes. They're from Target. Actually, his whole outfit is from Target. Um, I don't know about his onesie, actually. My grandma got him the onesie, but his little onesie is white, and it has writing on it. It's, that's, hello, gray and green. And it says Roar. And then his little um, overalls are from Target, and they have little palm trees on them. And his shoes are also from Target, and they're white and gray, and they have a little, like, highlighter yellow on them. And I'm going to flip the camera around so you guys can see him. He's so cute. Who is the cutest boy? Yeah. Elias is. <laughs> can I show them your outfit? <gasps> Say hi, friends. Hi, friends. Yes, you look so good with your runny nose. Huh? You look yeah. so good. Look how cute he is. Oh, he is so cute. I know I'm biased, obviously, but seriously. Yeah. So precious. And he, like, he can't walk yet, but he can, he stands up and he kind of, like, scoots along the furniture. So having his little shoes on is so cute. Oh, my goodness. So it has been a crazy day. Oh, his daycare is closed most of the week for spring break. So I took off a couple of days with him. My mom is going to be off with him. And then my hubby will be off with him. So we kind of just, like, split the days to like divide and conquer the time so nobody has to take like a whole week off. Um, but y'all, I am exhausted. He, oh my goodness, just sweet hugs, just sweet hugs. He just Okay, so as I was saying, um, he has not wanted to take a nap today, so it's been a really long day. I tried to keep him, like, busy and, like, on his normal daycare schedule, um, so we went out this morning, we got up at our normal time, got him all ready, did, like, all of his usual stuff, tried to, like, eat at the same time, eat the same stuff. Um, I did take him to my mom's office, um, to kind of, so we hung out there for, like, an hour and a half. We also ran an errand to Target. Huh, it is our day. And yeah, and then we came home, and y'all, he refused to nap. Refused. Uh oh, he dropped one. Sister's gonna eat it. Refused. So, I tried for like an hour and a half to get him down. He did fall asleep in the car on our way home after my mom's, um, but it was like 15 minutes, and he hasn't had a nap since then, and it's now almost 4 o'clock. 3.45. So, yeah. We've also gone out again to try and, like, I was like, maybe he'll fall asleep in the car again, and I'll just, like, let him sleep for a while. No, he wasn't having it. He did not fall asleep. So, we came home, obviously, and now we're just having a snack, and we're going to watch some nursery rhymes, and my husband will be on his way home. Um, dinner is ready, because I just put food in the crock pot today. Yeah. Is that good? You're good. Okay. And, um, yeah, so it should be like a pretty easy night, but he just might be cranky. He might need 
a nap, which my husband will be able to get him down if he does need one. So, yeah. It's been a rough day. You stay at home moms, I don't know how you do it. It's seriously, I'm exhausted. I am exhausted. I was exhausted at 1130 today, okay? Like, what? What is this life? It's crazy. It's so hard. So, I don't know. It's, it's nuts. It is nuts. How could one little tiny human make you so tired? Like, there's so much work. So much work. Is that good? But look how cute he is. Yeah, where's the dog? Where's the dog? Ah, are those good? Yeah, they are. They are so good. You see the fan, huh? Hi. Yowza. I'm looking rough, y'all. <laughs> Yikes. Hey guys, so Elias and I are hanging out in his room. Sorry, I'm just looking down at him because he is playing with the door. Um, <laughs> but I thought I would share this with you guys because I haven't shared it before. This is one thing that I do every night. Um, each night I get his backpack ready for daycare and I also pick out his outfit for, um, for daycare to wear like the next day. Really? What's, what's happening right now? Okay. Life of a nine month old, people. So, uh, this is his little outfit for tomorrow. I just have, uh, well, we have these little hangers. They're kid hangers. And so I hang his onesie, his pants, and then he also um, has a pair of socks on here. And he has a, bit, uh, a bib dana, rather, like a bib that looks like a bandana, um, because he has been very drooly. Um, he's like teething and I don't know, just has like a runny nose and all this stuff. So I've been including um, band, like bib danas again with his outfits and they kind of spice up a little onesie. They're pretty cute. So um, that is what I have there. And my husband gets him ready most mornings. Um, because I get to work, I, I leave for work around 7, and he and Elias don't get up until 8, typically. So, um, he gets him ready and gets him off to daycare, so I pick out his outfit, um, to wear the night before. Sometimes I'll pick out a few days at a time. You want snuggles? Should I pick you up? You want to be picked up, Bubba? Big boy? Oh. Okay. So sometimes I'll pick out a couple of days worth of outfits at a time, um, but today I just picked out one because I'll be home with him on Thursday, which will be the following day, so he doesn't need that many. And then on Fridays, we usually just kind of like free for all because my husband's off, so they're at home together, so he can wear jammies all day or he can wear just a onesie or whatever he feels like putting on him. But that's it. Just a little bit of outfit prep. Mm. Okay, guys, how many nine-month-olds know how to open their diaper pail? Watch your thumb, Bubba. Watch your thumb. For real? He can also open the latch on the, uh, the lid, too, by the way. Watch your fingers. You gotta be careful. Okay, this is not a toy. <laughs> Hey friends, so here is the curry that I made. It's going to have, well, it has a red sauce on it. I probably need to add some more sauce to it. I have some of the like softer veggies on top, um, zucchini and broccoli. There's also bell peppers, carrots, some sweet potatoes, and then the chicken is at the bottom um, and it's been cooked in sauce. So I'm gonna stir it all up and then I'll probably make some cauliflower rice to go along with this. And I probably won't eat it with the rice. I'll probably just eat the chicken and veggies because it's pretty filling. 
um, for me without the cauliflower rice, but I'll have that as a side option for my hubby. These are the cookies that I made today. I didn't realize it until I was literally making them that I didn't have quite enough almond flour um, for the recipe, so I had to use a little bit of coconut flour, and then I added an extra egg and um, a little bit of almond milk. So these are totally an experiment, so I'll link the actual recipe um, below if you guys are interested in making some. And yeah, these are just kind of like Frankenstein, but based on that recipe. So I have no idea how they're going to be, but hopefully, I mean, they'll be fine to like help um, cure a sweet tooth if we have one. And I just like to have cookies on hand. And oh my gosh, you guys, if you ever have, or if you've never put a little bit of like peanut butter on your chocolate chip cookies, like a warm chocolate chip cookie, oh, shut the front door. So good. All right, friends, so I wrote down my frugal wins. These are actually all specifically from today. So since it was um, a day off, I honestly really struggle when I have a day off or like it's the weekend and uh, you know I'm not like in my normal routine. That's when I find I can easily spend like extra money um, and just, you know, kind of get off of schedule, off of track um, of what we normally do. So this really was my focus today was to not spend, um, you know, extra money on <laughs> unnecessary things, but to still find ways to enjoy our day. So the first win that I have is that we did a Target return first thing this morning. I had purchased some storage bins, which we did actually need. Um, but after like a few days after I got them, I remembered that my dad had actually given me a gift card to Home Depot and that I could easily buy storage bins at Home Depot instead of having bought them at Target. So I decided to return the ones from Target and I'm going to pick up a bunch from Home Depot um, because I need to really get our garage organized and I think that's a good utilization of that money. So I did the Target return. I returned that. I also returned a new cookbook that I had gotten that was for, well, that is for keto. Um, I'm actually really excited about the cookbook itself, but I honestly got it and looked through it and felt like I didn't really need it. It um, is kind of a lot of the same information as is what is in well, not a lot of the same information I mean it's a cookbook but it's um I feel like the book that I have the keto diet book that I have covers the information that is in the cookbook and then obviously the rest of it is just recipes which is great but I think that you can easily um, follow a keto lifestyle without having an actual like cookbook dedicated to it. And most of the recipes that I find are I find off of Pinterest. Um, and then other than that, it's just like following the keto guidelines. So it's really simple. So I didn't feel like I needed it. I just felt like it was kind of an impulse buy. So I returned that. And um, between those like two, you know, items, not, you know, it was more than one storage bin, but um, we got like $80. So that was a win right there. The other win is that one thing that I always, well, not, not always, but we tend to spend on, especially on these days when we're at home or we're out running errands, is food out. And today we only ate food from home. So we didn't spend any money on food out, which was totally a win. I made um, my rocket fuel latte before we left the house this morning. Um, I made lunch when we came home. Obviously, I had food for Elias while we were out. So um, his usual food that he has. Um, so that was good to go. And I had packed a lunch for my husband today. And then I had also put um, some food in the crock pot, which you saw also for dinner. So everything was from home and it didn't, you know, take a lot of time. Super easy. So the last thing that I have is that today I did a budget revamp for us. Um, I mentioned in my last Frugal Friday video that I was just feeling kind of like burnt out and just like in kind of a slump with budgeting. Um, so what I did last weekend was I sat down and I printed out two months worth of our bank statements and I just went through and looked at where we've been spending um, extra money or just money kind of randomly or here or there and honestly I mean we can't even be surprised by this but Target is the enemy it's the worst so I spent a lot at Target I also totally overspent on groceries and so um, I did a budget revamp and going into May, we will be following this new budget and we'll be back to our cash envelopes, which honestly, like I honestly have a love hate relationship with cash envelopes because it um, is so much more convenient to just like order groceries online with Walmart pickup and, you know, not really like worry about that. Um, 
and not like actually going to the store and carry cash and all that stuff. So I honestly might still do Walmart grocery pickup and I will just maybe commit to like twice a month instead of like every week like I have been doing um, or I tend to do and really just cutting down on our grocery trips. So I'm going to go over with you guys what our new budget actually looks like and what the um, like allotments are, what our cash envelope categories are going to be. So we're going to flip around and do that. But before we go into that, I do want to share with you guys what my frugal fail is for this week. And that is the cookies that I showed in this video with um, the dinner that I made. The cookies are awful. And I know it's because I had to kind of like adapt the recipe because I wasn't, re didn't realize that I was out of almond flour basically. So that was a fail because I wasted ingredients and I think I'm going to throw the cookies away. They're just not very good. They're just like kind of dry. I've heard that baking with coconut flour is like more complicated than almond flour. I've never actually done it really. So I didn't know. And yeah, it was, it was not good. And that's that. My husband would probably still eat them, but I, mm, not for me. It's not, it's just not, it's like, it's not, it's just not worth it. It's not worth the extra carbs to eat those because they gross. So let's look at our budget revamp really quick and our new, like just the changes to the categories um, and all that good stuff. Okay guys, so this is a look at my planner. This is where I keep, um, I have a, a section in my planner that has our budget stuff. So um, what I did after I reviewed our bank statements and looked at where we were spending extra money, I went through our budget and wrote down everything that we spend money on and divided things into um, like necessities and like kind of extras. And basically all of our necessities come from Dave Ramsey's four walls. And then everything else is like the extra stuff that we spend money on. And honestly, it's been super, super eye opening. So this I'm just keeping in my planner. It's just an example um, that I can reference when I'm working on our budget for the month or when I am, um, you know, just wanting to see like where our spending is, what our categories are, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to go through this with you. Um, it's, it's just blank. Like I said, it's just like an example one that I'm going to keep in my planner. So here we have the monthly expenses. You'll see at the top, we have giving, then our mortgage, daycare, groceries, formula, diapers. That also includes wipes for Elias, um, gas, our SMUD, which is our um, electricity, um, PG&E is our gas, water, sewer, car insurance, life insurance, and then T-Mobile, which is our phones. So these are what I would consider our four wall necessity items. Um, obviously we have to, well we give, that's the first thing we do, uh, but we also, you know, we have to pay for our mortgage, um, we have to pay for all of these things, like Elias has to go to daycare, uh, we have to buy food obviously. So, so your four walls are food, shelter, transportation, and basic clothing necessities, clothing needs. Um, so that is what's covered by these. Now, obviously clothing isn't in here because honestly, we all have enough clothing to last us like for the next, you know, lifetime essentially. But that is just our basics. So four walls are covered with, by these things right here. Now this list is our extras and it's broken up into like our monthly expenses, our debts, and then our sinking funds. So here we have ADT, which is our security. We have pest control, um, our homeowners, uh, which is like our, our um, warranty that we, we pay for for repair things. Um, our gardener, Comcast, household products, personal products, haircuts, which is for my husband, um, date night, wifey spending, and hubby spending. Oh, sorry guys, I'm in, I'm in the car, so it's a little shaky. Um, bark box, which is for Kiki, then clothes and toys, which is for Elias because, you know, just, yeah, I mean, he, he's our baby. What are we going to do? Not buy him cute clothes? I don't know. So, um, for my hubby and I, in case you're wondering like where our clothing budget is, um, it's comes from within our own category. So if we want clothing, specifically me, um, I'll buy it out of my, um, expenses. If my hubby needs clothing, it's literally like something that he needs and we'll pull it from a different category, which I'll show you. The other ones we have are um, our two cars and then our PayPal. These are our only debts, you guys. Three. Three. Can you believe that? I can't, I can't even handle it. I'm so excited. And then our sinking funds are down here. So Christmas, medical, Kiki, Elias, 
um, car maintenance, car registration, and family miscellaneous. And that's where we would pull money for um, clothing if you need like socks or underwear, you know, like an actual like need. Um, so that is what our budget categories are and that's how it's broken up. These are really the things that are absolute necessities and these are the things that kind of fluctuate. Um, obviously a lot of these like these things here at the top we still pay for. I mean the first like what five, six um, we pay for no matter what and need no matter what each month. So they're things that aren't necessities but they're things that are choices that we've made and that we pay for um, because you know, I don't want to have bugs in my house, so we pay for pest control. So it's just things like that. So um, that's just the breakdown. I hope that is helpful. I hope that that kind of inspires you and helps you if you feel like you're a little bit um, lost. I like to have my budget in a few different places. So um, having it here in my planner, which goes with me everywhere to work, to church, you know, running errands, it goes with me all the time. Um, I like having that um, easily accessible and able to view and it helps with the breakdown a little bit easier than looking at it in every dollar. So that is our um, budget expenses broken down. Okay friends so that's it for this video. Let me know what your frugal Friday win is for this week in a comment down below and also tell me what your plans are for the weekend. We just have a birthday party um, this evening and then we're going to take it easy and then it's Easter Sunday so we'll have a busy Sunday but hopefully Saturday will just be a lot of relaxing and hanging out and family time. So thank you guys as always for watching. I so appreciate you guys. If you're new here don't forget to subscribe and if you are not new or if you are new and you're subscribed make sure to tap the bell so that you get notifications of when I post videos. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.